hello everybody and welcome back to another video i figured this video could be like a i don't know a couple days of my life but today is thursday january 26th i figured i would just kind of take y'all um along with me for a couple of days just for fun um and if you care to watch <laughs> So I um, just got off work. It's one o'clock now. I got off a little bit later and I just pulled up to the gym. I go to Club for Fitness and I actually really like it. Um, I used to do some of the classes and stuff, but now I just do my own thing. Hello, I just got done with the gym I sat in the sauna for a little bit I love the sauna and now I'm drenched and I am so hungry hey Bruno what are you doing did you take a nap yeah did you take a nap I'm just gonna make a protein drink Okay, so I've been drinking this. It's ISO 100 and it's Fruity Pebble flavor. If you like Fruity Pebbles, um, you have to try this because it is so good. And the macros on it are pretty good. I'm going to make this and then I'm going to take Bruno on a quick walk. I don't really know how you're supposed to make it, but I just use this fat-free milk and I just do like this much and I hate blender bottles they're a pain to clean just do one scoop and I just dump it in there all right so we just got back from our walk and Bruno is probably going to take a nap he's passed out already and I'm going to get some stuff done on my computer and then wait on Baser to come back home from golfing I think he's like halfway done so he probably won't be home until right before supper. And I think we're gonna have pizza tonight. Um, just something super simple and easy. All right, so I am working on uploading a video and it still has a long time until it uploads. So I'm just gonna relax and probably watch some TV while this takes another hour. Are you tired? Are you sleepy? It's a little bit later and Baser is home from golf and we are gonna make this pizza. I had it one time when I was babysitting and it was really good, so I thought we would try it. Oh my gosh, the whole pizza is 1,020 calories. That's it. Um, do you know how much a normal one is? No. How much? One slice, remember at Costco, was like 800. A normal pizza is probably around like 2,500 a slice. Yum. A little oh, look at Bruno. He's in his bed chewing on his bone. <coughs> oh my god, today I tried to get in contact with that doctor's office. Mm -hmm. It was awful. <laughs> we have to do a taste test. You like it? A lot. Well, it's pretty good. Baser approves of it. I like it. Sorry for the terrible lighting. We ate supper and then I took a shower and I've been relaxing on the couch with Bruno. I just saw where Julia and Hunter released a new vlog. They are back and I'm gonna watch it and then probably just go right to bed because I have to be up early for work in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday, 
and I just got done doing my hair and my makeup. I'm about to go eat breakfast. Um, in the mornings, I typically do my hair and makeup first, and then I eat breakfast, and then I get dressed, and then I head off to work. So I figured I would show you guys. Um, when I'm getting ready, Baser normally sets out all of my breakfast stuff that I need. So he normally sets out my bread and my two eggs. We really like this bread. It's the Delightful 45 bread. It is so soft. And there's something. Mm-hmm. I know it should. All right, so I just finished eating breakfast, and we put everything away. And I have these every day for snack while I'm at work. And if you haven't tried these, they're so good. I used to not be a big fan of them, but the Publix brand is by far my favorite. Alright, so I normally pack 10 of them. And the 11th one always goes to Bruno. That a good boy. Bezer just went out to crank my car. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am ready for work. Just have on these navy um, scrubs, and I have like the jogger scrubs. I think they're just super cute. Hello, everybody. I just got off work. It's only like 12:40. Why do I do this to myself? I get everywhere so early because I'm scared I'm gonna be late. But I figured I would let y'all know I'm getting my hair done by Dalton Bartlett. Um, I'm looking for his business card. This is his business card if you are interested. He's not at that salon anymore. And he does really, really good. He's been doing my hair like, I don't know, not for like super long, but this will be like my fourth time going back to him and I don't get my hair done that often. Ready. I just got done getting my hair done. I really like it. It's still lighter, but it's not like super brassy. I feel like I was getting a little bit brassy. If you are in the Mobile area, you should definitely check out Dalton Bartlett, like I said before. I am headed home now. I'm going to take a Bruno on a quick walk, and then we're having spaghetti for dinner tonight, so I'll probably have to start making that, and I'll take you along. Hey Bruno, what are you doing? No, you Hey, what are you doing? Mm. so excited I'm home. We are about to head on a walk. We're waiting on Baser to put some shoes on. Can you please let go? Hey look, shoes twins. Let's go Bruno. <laughs> we are taking Bruno on a walk. He is full of energy right now and he literally never calms down. Oh, he's I, th <laughs> I think it's just his age, maybe, don't you? We walk him off leash in this neighborhood and he loves it. He like is obsessed and he knows what is it, our path? He knows way, uh, he knows the way we go. We go the same way every single time. Bruno! <laughs> Stay. Good Good boy. Boy. We're about to start saying stay. Maybe that's the magic word. Bruno, stay. Here we go. All right, so I figured I would share y'all. To make this, I just use hamburger meat and I cook it and then I use, um, which I don't think I have any. Yeah, so I use one can of tomato paste and then you fill up three of these of water. I think it's 18 ounces. And then it's just one packet of these or two packets. Sometimes I like doing two packets. It just tastes a little bit better um, to me, but the directions are also on the back of these. And then for noodles, we like the angel hair noodles, um, and this is just the Publix brand, so we use those, and then we also make garlic bread in the oven. Alright, so I've got my meat all warm, 
Got the noodles boiling. They only need about 10 more minutes. And also just put the bread in. So that is cooking. All right, so our spaghetti is ready. I'm having water and Bazer has a lot more meat than I do. And he always drinks milk oh, with oh. it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then we also have our bread. And then I put a little bit of this on mine. All right, so I just put the leftovers up and we are cleaning up the kitchen. Recently, Bazer discovered these good pops. Where did you get these from? I think Publix. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's what it looks like normal. And then the inside, mm -hmm. the white part, looks like lemonade. Mm -hmm. Really, really, really good. So I just took a quick body shower and I'm about to wash my face and then go relax on the couch and probably watch some YouTube. So I figured I would just kind of take you all along my skincare routine. It's super simple. Okay, so this is the lineup. I always wash my face with this Bohemian Gel Cleanser and then I go in with the Facial Moisturizer. These are both like an Australian brand, I think. Um, Sarah's Day uses these and that's why I ordered them. But I do really like them. And then I do those. And then I always put on this Summer Fridays mask uh, before going to bed. And I also do my teeth whitening. And then I also put this on before I go to bed. This little eyelash serum. And then of course the Laneige lip mask in Berry. I really should probably put these Christmas pajamas away, but they're just too comfortable. So, these are from Target, if you are wondering. I think they have, I know they did the green and the red for Christmas, and now I think they have gray and pink stripes out, I guess, for spring. So, I might get some pink ones. Those are super cute. Um, and I feel like you could wear those all the time, because I'm always cold, and I'm always looking for long sleeve and pants. All right. So I am going to watch a little bit of YouTube. Rachel Ratke posted a vlog and fun fact about me, I don't watch any TV, I don't watch Netflix, I don't watch Hulu, I'm not a movie person at all and I am obsessed with YouTube. I have been for all of college pretty much well even before college i remember in high school i used to be obsessed with whitney simmons i'm sure most of y'all know who she is but um she doesn't post as much as rachel does and rachel posted a video so i'm going to watch it and just wind down for the night dylan i like the candles burning you guys i am freaking out um, I'm still watching Rachel's vlog and oh, look at Bruno. Bruno is asleep. He's about to fall off. <laughs> but I had to stop the vlog and tell y'all. So I posted on Instagram. Let me pull it up. On my story about Rachel's hour long vlog. How I like. I'm just so excited. So I posted this and it's just like a screenshot of her thing and then I like cropped it a little bit and said, um, okay Rachel, an hour long vlog, day made. And then I like tagged her in it right there. And she replied to my story. And oh my gosh, I was screaming when I saw her name pop up on my phone, but I'm literally dying on the inside. And I literally cannot believe it. I am obsessed with my pillow and we are going to go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone. It is Friday. I am so excited. It is the weekend and I am about to do my hair and makeup and then um, eat and head to work. On Fridays I only work 8 to 12 so it's a little bit of a shorter shift and we don't see as many patients um, and then I'll probably head to the gym afterwards since I didn't get to work out yesterday so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready I curl my hair with this it's a hot tools 
signature series, I guess. And I think this is the one and a half inch barrel. It's pretty big, honestly. Um, it might even be bigger than that. I'm not sure, but I do like this one. I just got off work and went to the gym. I didn't stay for very long. And then I ran to TJ Maxx and I figured I would show y'all what I picked up. Okay, so first I got these little bamboo scrub things. I got this also. We had a smaller one and Baser broke it. And the last thing I got is a new toy for Bruno. And somehow he knew there's a toy in there for him. Look, how does he know it's for? I have to cut the tag off, crazy. It's like a little bunny. Uh, wait. Look, it's your blue bunny. Oh, are you so excited? What you got? This is just a little basket with all of his toys in it. He has way too many. You like your bunny? Look at your tail wagon. Aw, you like getting new toys, don't you? We're gonna have a quick snack um, to hold us over until supper. And I thought I would show y'all. We both really like these chips. I wish they were like lightly salted because sometimes they're a little too salty. And then some salsa. And if you haven't tried this salsa, it's the best ever. It's not super spicy. What are you doing? Alrighty, it is much later. I fell asleep on the couch. Bruno is still playing with his new toy. He loves it. And I've been emptying the dishwasher. And I also have supper cooking in the oven. It's just leftover chicken enchiladas. And then our bean dip. And that's really, really good. Um, I think I've shown y'all the chicken enchiladas before. In like one of my first few videos. And the bean dip is super good as well. So I thought I would um, share this recipe. If you want to screenshot it, you can. So it cooks on 350 for 30 minutes and it takes about 10 minutes to get it ready. Um, so all you need is 16 ounces of refried beans, 2 ounces of cream cheese, a half a cup of sour cream. I use like the light version. And then one packet of taco seasoning and then one third cup of Mateo's medium salsa. I love this salsa, but you can do any kind of salsa. Um... And then a handful of pepper jack and cheddar cheese, or you can use Mexican cheese. And then all you do is mix all these ingredients up in a bowl and pour them into an 8x8 pan and bake them. And it's super simple. And then you just serve it with um, tortilla chips. I also put like a little note to set out the cream cheese like 20 minutes before you want to mix this together because it'll be hard to mix the cream cheese. So yeah, that is a helpful tip. Okay, so here's our enchiladas. They kind of um, expanded whenever I put them back in the oven because I forgot about them. And then here's the bean dip. It's not very cute because we don't have a smaller pan, so I had to get like these uh, disposable ones, but it is really, really good. <laughs> All right, we just finished supper and we are going to watch a little bit of gymnastics. I think it's Auburn. Oh my gosh, her foot. Yeah, she got like it. We're watching Alabama versus Auburn. I've gotten Baser into it. Um, he watches it with me. And he does gymnastics. I mean, he does gymnastics. He does homework while we watch. So, gonna watch this and probably just relax for the night. Most of it. 